Uh-huh, yeah. Okay. Go? Uh-huh. All right, just to, hey, what's up, Facebook, YouTube, peace. Much love. Um, doing a video real quick. Um, I did a video before the fight, um, um, but every time I'm trying to download, I'm having problems. So, um, I got this Crawford thing, and I'm a little after the effect, but I watched the fight, and I'm going to show you my goods and bads of what I see, my disappointments and what I like. All right. The Crawford and Dad uh, days, I'm going to just uh, read what I wrote down while I was doing it. Okay. Uh, first round. It looks like um, Crawford was filling out um, days, and he looked like he was protecting himself a lot with his footwork, mainly with his footwork. He was keeping days where he's supposed to be. He was keeping them at the end of his punches. He was doing that pretty effective. Um, and, um, you know, that was the first round. He didn't show too much pop in his punches. His punches looked pretty um, um, weak. Weak. Um, second round, Crawford did not look so good to a professional eye um, because the fight is starting to look more like a mismatch, you know, because Days finally got inside and Crawford of his punches and there was no avail. You know, he couldn't handle Crawford's strength. Why do you keep messing with the light? He couldn't mess with Crawford's strength. Um... It was um, so disappointing. Why is the shade going off? You got to keep the light faced at me. Crawford, um, his punches were not effective, nor could he handle, uh, I mean, not Crawford. Uh, Day's punches were not even effective when he got in the inside on Crawford. So it was starting to look bad. Um, you know, he was starting to look more like a Mitch match. Um, when Days finally got inside, because Days' whole thing is he know that for him to land on Crawford, he got to get inside Crawford's comfort zone. Because Crawford, the first few rounds, wasn't even punching hard. So it was looking deceiving also. So when Days finally did get in, Crawford let go a few punches. And um, um, even, even in the second round, uh, Crawford didn't even let go any punches. When Days got inside, it's just Days couldn't be effective when he got inside. He was just too small, too weak. His punches didn't hurt. Um, uh, he even um, disappointed to another Mitch Mack. For all the money that uh, these management teams make, they need to at least give us real facts. You know, it's just another disappointing to me. You know, for for a person who's looking at it, criticizing it like me. Um, you know, um, and. You know, Days finally uh, caught Crawford coming in. He popped Crawford head back. He finally caught Crawford with one of those punches coming in. I think it was a right hand or a jab, but he came in and he popped Crawford head back. Um, um, and, you know, it kind of showed me the only negative thing I say for Crawford is that showed me that Crawford, if he was in there with a guy who could punch a little harder, um, who had a little bit more weight behind his punches, he could have been in more trouble. Um, he was pretty hit pretty easy because he wasn't holding his guards up. Um, hey, this is high. Um, pretty easy because he wasn't holding his guard up. Uh, round four. My son Tahi mentioned that Days just looked like he was quitting. You know, he was losing a lot of confidence. He wasn't punching back as much because, uh, and when he was punching back, it just wasn't nothing on it. Um, he was starting to he was starting to lose confidence. This is step one. Can you see me, Tari? Uh huh. Come on, man. Uh, um, you know, it just didn't look like he was in the fight anymore. Uh, by round five or six, uh, it started looking real bad because Crawford is starting to counter punch more, uh, but it's still not even half of his power. 
Crawford was starting to counterpunch more, but it, but it, um, it wasn't the Crawford that we've seen knock people out with one punch. You know, he, he, he had a lot of mercy on um, Day's throughout <coughs> this fight. He had, a, look, man, move. he had a lot of mercy on Day's throughout this fight because um, I think it's because it just wasn't no match, you know, and, and, and Crawford, um, you know, was being a little merciful in this situation, you know, but this this isn't a credit to Crawford because, you know, how many fights is he going to fight somebody that's um, not even up to the standards of his physical strength, you know, and, and, and um, you know, by late rounds, by now, you know what I mean, the crickets are in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the auditorium because, you know, Days is, is a one-sided fight by now. You know, Days is backing up and just getting hit now. Um, now it, Crawford is starting to turn up his punches to end, to end this uh, abuse, kind of a mercy-like knockout. And um, Days' team stepped in and just ended. You know, because they see that it was no more competition. Um, I will say Dave showed a lot of toughness, but it was sad because it was like the old days in boxing when fighters fought too long and they just was too tough to fall down and they just get beat to death, you know, and they just lose all kind of health issues. Um, so his team stopped the fight because they could see that. It's funny how teams can see when you had enough, but they can't see how to avoid these type of mismatch fights. You know, um, shout out to Crawford. He did what he was supposed to do, but we need to stop blind following, um, yeah. Yeah. blind following people and just, just following the situation, yeah. the system. We need to change things with our own hands. You know, Crawford going out there, yeah. he need to be more responsible about who he mm -hmm. beat up. You know, yeah. you know I, if I was if I was a, a professional boxer who was making a lot of money each fight, I would I would be more in control of who I beat up because um, if I'm truly gonna um, be successful within myself, I want to know that I can do uh, what I'm what I'm paid to do, not. Um, just go in there and do whatever they tell me to do and, and, and whether they cheat for me or not, you know. Um, so, so, you know, finally I'm going to say Crawford, um, all of those wishes and hopeful um, fans who want to see him uh, move up and fight somebody, Crawford, or uh, fight somebody uh, bigger and better, you know, I don't think he's ready for that. Um, his, his, his easiest fight, if he want to move up and wait, would be a short guy like Pacquiao. So that fight would definitely be the best fight for him to move up in. Pacquiao is older. He's not as fast. He's... Um, his punches, Pacquiao punches are not as hard as they used to be. It seems to be, so that'd be a good fight for Crawford. But I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see him being um, on that elite level yet. Um, I only see him being elite uh, when he's fighting somebody where he has no fear of, and that's somebody smaller. Just my opinion, man. Much love.